to display a an illumination or a lamp uh, indication from the cockpit, we can use the Master Caution and the Harrier as an example. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll grab this momentary button with lamp uh, type button, and this uh, this is the same uh, momentary button inputs as as these two, whereas these two just have a single state in image, whereas this uh, button with lamp has two states that it can set. Uh, so what we'll do is actually have some images already created for the master caution. So I will set this as the first image and go to the second and set this. And then what we'll want to do is we want to use this image state change. So um, since this is a, a lamp or indicator, um, it's not necessarily a clickable data type, so we can't use the ID lookup. Uh, so we'll need to find the DCS ID from the Lua export script. So if I pull up the exports module, DCS export script, exports modules, and we open the one for the Harrier, um, here we see conveniently Master Caution is, is right at the top, so it's uh, ID, DCS ID 196, and we can type this in here, six. Uh, and then we just want it to be greater than zero. Um, so the we can actually see the value uh, if we wanted to by typing it in here as well. So it's currently zero. Uh, and if we pull the emergency disconnect, you'll see it flickers between zero and one there. Um, so we can clear this now since we just want the image change. Uh, so when it's zero, it'll be in this state. And when the value is one and greater than zero matching this condition, it'll switch to this uh, visible state. Um, so that's only changing this image state change section. Uh, we can still set the DCS command uh, button um, and so here it makes sense to do the uh, the caution push button. So here's master caution uh, and since it's just a normal button it's just a range of zero one it's just on or off basically. So if we send this to the DCS command um, that's now populated and now we can uh, press this button to uh, disable the master caution here. 